Palmer Lucky's Andril just offered the world a rare glimpse inside one of its most ambitious defense projects, an uncrewed fighter jet designed to work alongside piloted aircraft. The project was recently featured in a segment on CBS's 60 Minutes. In that segment, viewers got a look at the Fury drone, a key contender in the U.S. Air Force's next-generation collaborative combat aircraft program. It wasn't the first time the Fury was shown publicly. On May 1st, the Air Force unveiled a test representative model. But the 60 Minutes footage revealed something more. Details about how the aircraft is built. In one scene, two engineers are seen attaching a wing to the Fury inside a hangar. It's a subtle but important clue. The drone is modular. Just like many of Andril's other systems, the Fury is designed so its components can be easily swapped or customized. Interestingly, both engineers were using nothing more than standard screwdrivers to assemble a major part of the aircraft. That's no accident. Andril wants the Fury to be easy to produce, not just in high-tech facilities, but potentially across many smaller workshops throughout the U.S. The program's goal is clear. Make advanced drones that are not only smart and lethal, but also affordable and scalable. CBS also showed a conceptual simulation. In the video, three Fury drones fly ahead of a crewed fighter jet. They identify threats, engage enemy aircraft, and clear the way, all before the pilot even enters the danger zone. These fly out ahead of manned fighters, said Brian Schimpf, CEO of Andril. They're able to find and engage the enemy before a human pilot is seen or targeted. This system is designed to use software to autonomously control it and work with a manned quarterback sitting in a fighter jet alongside it, sitting in an F-35 or something like that. These are first and foremost about protecting pilots' lives. These fly out ahead of manned fighters and they're able to find the enemy first be able to engage the enemy well before a manned fighter has to be seen or is in range. Uh, so these are really about providing that deterrence by putting systems well out in front of manned fighters. This is the future of air combat, where drones act as loyal wingmen or even operate completely on their own during certain missions. It's expected to be a key feature of the F-47, the sixth generation stealth fighter developed by Boeing but the Air Force has also said it hopes to integrate the program with F-35 Lightning IIs and F-22 Raptors. Air Force leadership has said its priority is making the drones affordable and easy to manufacture, as it hopes to bring mass to the skies since its fleet has shrunk in favor of more advanced aircraft. Fury isn't alone in the race. The Air Force has also tapped General Atomics to submit its own drone design, also modular and scalable. And while Andril's aircraft, officially designated YFQ-44A, is still in the running, no contract has been awarded yet. The Pentagon is expected to make early decisions sometime during fiscal year 2026, which begins in October. And when that moment comes, it could mark the beginning of a new era, one where America's fighter pilots are no longer flying alone.